Welcome back to Life with Cheeks. A lot has changed since my last video. Holy shit. First of all, my brother is still sober, so that's a good thing, and he's been making some fucking amazing music. I think that has definitely helped a lot with his sobriety and keeping him sober. I relocated to Orlando, Florida, and it is fucking hot here, man. Do I like living here? It depends when you ask me. It depends what day it is, what time of the day it is, what the weather is like, what kind of traffic I'm sitting in, um, whose sun is stressing me out that day. Sometimes I love it here and sometimes I'm like, why the fuck am I here? I think it'll just take me some time to adjust. There's just been a lot of changes at once that has made me a little anxious. The people down here are unbelievably nice, like so fucking nice. And I have made so many friends here already. I just recently got back into bodybuilding. I think with the move and all of the changes, I just needed something to focus on and to keep me grounded again. When I first started this series, I was prepping for the Tampa Extravaganza and then I quit bodybuilding altogether. And now I'm prepping for the Tampa Extravaganza again, but I'm actually gonna do another show before that. I joined the Kissimmee Muscle Gym. I don't know if it's Kissimmee or Kissimmee, I hear it pronounced both ways and I use both ways every time I say it. I always like switch off back and forth because I feel like at least that way I'm going to be right 50% of the time instead of potentially zero. I started a podcast and I freaking love it. I talk about sex and dating and relationships and mental health and sex and sex. I wanted to give you a little bit of a life update and show you what my life is like in Orlando. So I'm going to take you with me for an entire day. Hello, good morning, how you doing? Waking up, shaking, yesterday's blues, yeah Turn the TV off, it's bad news, man Feeling fresh like a Ziploc new man OJ with a champagne tuna My most of Holy Ghost running through ya Hell yeah, it's a new hallelujah Popping like the top off a bottle and I ain't stopping yet yeah. It's about 4.40 in the morning. I just got up, I got ready. I am now getting ready to head to the gym. I normally try to get there by five and it's like four minutes away. Calling up the ocean, this is evolution. Can I grow into another animal the next level? I'm sprouting wings and I just wanna sing. Okay, so I just got to the gym. Oh my God. Oh, fuck. Oh, that felt good. Damn. I wish I could do it on this side, but I can't reach back that far. Um, okay. What the fuck was I going to say? Oh, getting ready to go in and start my workout. And my foot is broken, but I go today to get, um, what's it called? The fucking hot guy is pulling up right now. Oh my God. I'm getting nervous. Is he going to park right next to me? He really is. He's backing in right next to me. Well, this is embarrassing now because now I'm just like sitting in my car recording myself. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? That really just threw me off. Normally I would come in and I would start with the stairs or the elliptical and just do like a little cardio to get my heart rate up. But I'm not supposed to do that right now. I'm supposed to kind of take it easy on the cardio. So I'm gonna do the bike and just turn up the resistance. Dude, I'm nervous now. That fucking hot guy is just like sitting right there. Mm. Okay. This part right 
right here is very simple. It goes like this. I've been up, I've been down, but I got the feeling right now. So I just finished a back and bicep workout. Oh my god, the sunrise is so freaking pretty. So I just finished a back and bicep workout and I did some cardio. I'm drinking BCAAs and glutamine for recovery and another protein shake. And I'm about to drive home and make a big ass breakfast and get ready for work. So I just got home from the gym and um, I'm running a little bit behind this morning since I have been recording everything. It's like taking me longer than normal. So I need to really get my ass in gear. I'm going to take a quick shower. I'm gonna try to take a quick shower. Sometimes my showers after the gym last quite a while, but I'm gonna try to make this one fast today. start today i just finished my breakfast and now i'm getting ready to do my hair and makeup and get dressed for work if you're looking for a girl that's like really well put together and good at doing the full face of makeup and hair go fish because you're not going to find her here i have the most basic getting ready routine in the morning and it's not because i like being a basic bitch it's really just because i don't know how to do better and like i envy these girls that can I tried watching tutorials. I don't have the fucking patience for it. Really or the time. One of my friends is fucking gorgeous and she always looks amazing. And she told me it takes her two hours to get ready in the morning. I would rather spend two hours at the gym in the morning and be ugly for the day. Okay, I'm all ready now, and obviously I'm not supposed to be wearing these shoes because this foot is broken, but I think it's kind of hard to sell drugs to a doctor whenever you're standing there in a dress and tennis shoes. It doesn't really scream professionalism. So, you know what they say, sometimes you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Now I'm getting ready to, I'm getting my lunch together, my meals, lunch, whatever you wanna call it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get on the road and head to my first client's office. So I just got in my car, and luckily I made it in before this started happening. It's gonna be a freaking monsoon. I hate working whenever it's like this because I'm getting in and out of my car and I have like samples to carry and I'm wearing heels and all this shit. Oh, I forgot to show, I'm actually, I brought some like shoes to wear in between offices and stuff. So I'll just like slip my heels on when I go talk to the doctor. I'm gonna head to one of my doctor's offices now. So I'm like a fucking terrible YouTuber already. I forgot that I was like supposed to be recording things. I've already been to several different offices and I just stopped at a gas station to heat up one of my meals. For bodybuilding, I always meal prep all my food. And when I'm on the road traveling for work, I have to stop at gas stations and heat up my food because I'm not going to eat cold food. Okay, so now I am about to sit here and stuff my face with this food and listen to some true crime podcasts probably <laughs> and take like a little breather and collect myself before I go back to selling drugs. Okay, I'm seriously like a hot ass mess today. I just ate my food. I uh, FaceTimed my niece and I literally almost died. I just took a bite of my food and she said something funny 
and I choked, like full on fucking choked. I was looking around to see if anyone could see me because I was like, I'm gonna die on this phone. And she was just laughing and like taking screenshots of me choking. Um, So that was traumatizing. Right now I'm heading to pick up Starbucks for one of my clients. This is basically like what I do all day. I feel like Uber Eats or something like that. Um, I drive around and take like food and snacks and stuff like that to my clients and their staff. And then I try to sell them drugs while I'm there. Okay, I got the goods. And now I'm heading to the office. I'm getting ready to go get my foot checked out and hopefully, not hopefully, but hopefully get a boot. I don't really want a boot. I don't want to wear one. They're not cute, but I just want this shit to heal. So, I just got out of the doctor's office and it turns out that I don't really even have a broken foot. I mean, it's basically the same. You said it's showing signs, early signs of a stress fracture. Um, but I don't have to wear a boot. I'm just being dramatic, I guess. And then I came out to a freaking downpour. And of course, I don't have my umbrella. So I have to like hobble my ass across this parking lot to my car. Okay, so that was fun. And now I'm done working for the day. So no broken foot or kind of broken foot, early signs of a broken foot, whatever the fuck that means. Um, but I did sell some drugs while I was in there. So that's awesome. Really just a, what is it called? A two for one deal. Uh, more bang for the buck. What the fuck? I don't know. I know I wasn't the best about taking pictures or taking videos of recording things today. This is a mess. Wow. This is really fucking great. It was a really productive day. I got in a lot of really good calls with my clients. And a call is not like a phone call. It's like, who the fuck does this? This is not a phone. A call is not a phone call. It's like actually going in and visiting a doctor. So I had some really good ones today. And now I'm about to head back to... I cannot fucking stand this. This is going to drive me nuts. Um, I'm about to head back like towards home. So come along. I actually forgot that it's time to eat again. So I just came to the gas station to heat up my next meal. So that wasn't as bad this time because I had an umbrella and I parked right next to the door so I didn't have to hobble across the whole freaking parking lot. But I just heated up my food and now I'm about to make the long ass drive back towards home and then I'm gonna go run some errands <laughs> well it was supposed to take me 30 minutes to get home and now it's an hour and eight minutes this is one of those times where I'm like why the fuck did I move here a freaking hour later and I'm finally close to being back home so I'm going to I don't know why I'm wearing these I don't really need them the sky is so gray I guess I just feel cool um, I'm gonna run to Aldi and pick up some stuff for my meals for the next couple of days. Jesus Christ. People are driving like fucking maniacs today. Oh, I just got done at Aldi and it's a freaking torrential downpour again. And, whew. I feel like my windshield wipers need to chill a little bit. I get insecure about the speed of my windshield wipers sometimes. If they're like going a little too fast, I'm like looking around like, is anybody else going this hard? It's so nasty outside. I do not want to go anywhere else. <laughs> I'm tired of running out in the rain and like, ugh. I really want to take a nap so fucking bad. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know if I really am just tired from like waking up early. I don't know if I'm exhausted from my near death experience earlier. I seriously almost choked out in my car on FaceTime with my niece on a piece of freaking ground turkey. I was like, <gasps> like, can anyone around me like see anything? Like somebody do something, like do the thing, like that, that, um, you know, the thing, make it come out. I thought I was going to freaking die on FaceTime with my niece while she was like snapping pictures of me and laughing <laughs> like she thought it was hilarious. Like is this really how I go out? If I would have died like that, 
she would have had to go to therapy someday for sure. She would be like, holy fuck. I watched my aunt die on FaceTime and I was laughing and taking pictures. So now I'm going to make my dinner and get ready for my class. Now, lately, I've been doing a salmon salad. Um, and if you can cook fish better than me, feel free to send me the tips or just fuck off because I don't need your judgment. I'm doing the best I can. I seriously hate cooking fish. Well, I just got done eating and now I'm about to go to jujitsu. So I started taking jujitsu. <laughs> it looks like I'm watching porn back there, but I'm not. It's from editing. Um, I started taking jujitsu classes for a lot of reasons. I've always been interested in UFC and MMA. Um, and I like trying anything that involves physical activity. And I watch a lot of shows like murder documentaries and stuff. And um, I don't know. I just want to make sure that nobody can fuck with me. So, yeah. And also, it's another form of cardio. Um, I've been doing a lot more cardio lately. So, I'm trying to always try different things and like switching it up all the time so that I don't get bored. take my phone in there. I mean, I can take my phone in there, but I can't set it up to record because it's not during like authorized hours. Um, so I'm going to go in and get my ass kicked. Probably my foot hurts really bad. So I don't know how good of an idea this is, but we'll find out afterwards. I just got done. I hurt my foot some more. <laughs> I'm fucking tired and really hungry. So I'm going home to eat again and take a shower and chill the fuck out. So typically I normally have like a shit ton of stuff to do in the evening. Like I have normally have something planned every single night or I have a list of stuff that I have to do. Tonight is like a little bit of a lighter night and I guess I'm going to try and take advantage of that and kind of chill a little bit because the next, I would say the next couple of weeks, but really like the entire month of November is going to be insane. So... I don't know. I might take advantage of the fact that I can just kind of chill tonight. And I am going to record a podcast. I like cannot peel my ass off this couch. I don't know what my deal is. I'm so fucking tired today. I just recorded a podcast. It's late. Well, it's not really that late, but it's 1045, which is kind of late for me whenever I wake up at four. I've been so tired. I think it was that near death experience earlier today that really took a lot out of me. I had to fight for my fucking life. So I'm exhausted. I'm about to go to bed and I'm going to wake up and do it all over again. But thank you so much for spending the day with me. And in case one has told you yet today, I love you. Thank <laughs> you.